So this problem asks for the ones digit of 8 times 8 times 8, and it says if there were 63 8s in this problem. So we look for a pattern. Well, the first 8, if you just multiply it by just once, it's just 8. 8 times 8 equals 64, so the ones digit is 4. 8 times 8 times 8, well, that's just 64 times 8, which turns out to be, we don't even have to do the rest of the math, but it does turn out to be 512. All we're worried about is the 2. Then if we multiply it again, I multiply 512 times 8, you get 6, 1, 9, nothing to carry, so 4096. So we did, still don't see a pattern yet. We got 8, 4, 2, 6. So multiply 4096 times 8. You get 8, carry the 4, which is a 6, carry the 7, which is 7. 32, 7, 6, 8. Well, now you might see that we have a pattern. And the pattern is there are four different possibilities for the ones digit. And the way we do this, the way we talked about it in class, if you divide 4 into the number uh, to the number of 8s uh, you have, if the remainder is 1, the answer is the ones digit is an 8. If the remainder is 2, it's the one digit is a 4. Remainder 3, the one digit is a 2. Re no remainder, then the ones digit is a 6. So in this case, if I do 63, by 4, well, you're going to have 1, 23 would be 5, so it's going to be 15, remainder 3. Since it's remainder 3, the answer is going to be 512, so the ones digit is a 2. 30 says during a 5-day stretch in January, the average high temperature was negative 4. So the high temperatures for the first 4 days were 2, negative 9, negative 4, negative 2. What was the high temperature for the, um, what should say, 5th day? So on the fifth day, it would be, um, well, you know that for five days, the average was negative four. So the sum of the, the sum of the temperatures has to be negative 20. If you know the average and you know the total days, you multiply those two together, and that gives you the sum. The sum of the first four days just comes from adding these together. Two plus negative nine plus negative four plus negative two. Add these together, 2 plus negative 9 is a negative 7. Negative 7 plus negative 4 is a negative 11. Negative 11 plus negative 2 equals negative 13. So the first four days, the sum was negative 13. For all five, we know the sum was negative 20. So that fifth day, we needed a negative 7 because negative 13 plus negative 7 gives me a total of negative 20. So the answer to that question is negative 7. 31, it says Jeb was training for the mini marathon in May. He put himself on a six-week program where he ran five more miles than he did the previous week. If he ran seven miles the first week, how many total miles did he run during the six weeks? So the first day, it says that he ran seven, first week. Second week, he went, ran uh, 12 more than that. The third week, he ran five more, or five more than that, so 17. Fourth week, he ran five more than that, which is 22. And so we're doing six weeks here, so we need two more of these. The fifth week is 27, and the sixth week is 32. So now this is just an addition problem, which I'll leave for you to do on your own. Nine, you just add up 7 plus 12, uh, which is 19, plus 17, which is 36, plus 22 is 58, plus 32 is 90, plus 27 is 117. So in his six weeks training program, he ran 117 miles. Because it said for the total miles. That's why we added them. Last one, it says Jonathan has $32 in his bank account. For his birthday, he received checks of $20, $30, $50, and $120. With his birthday money, he decided to buy a new hat for $34 and a new video game for $82. If he deposited all his money in his account and paid with the debit card, which means it comes directly from his account, how much did he have left? Well, the amount in his account is adding how much he had plus how much he deposited, which was all these checks. Then you take away what he spent, so you subtract 34, subtract 82. So if I add all these up, well, 30 plus 50 plus 120 is 200, 220, so it's 252, minus 34, minus 82. We can change these to plus a negative, 
So 252 minus 34 is 218 plus a negative 82. Signs are different, so you still subtract. 282 minus 8, or 218 minus 82. If you need to do it over here, you can. Change that to 11, which would be 3. So 136. So the amount that he has in his account is $136. Make sure you show me this works. So just in case you make an adding and subtracting error, I know that you understood the problem and had the right equation or the right expression down there to represent it.